Hi friends, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Church at Home. I'm so glad you're watching church today. We are learning all about God's super duper dreams for us. God's dreams are so super duper because they are even bigger and better than anything we could ever dream by ourselves. And when he made you, he already had amazing dreams for you planned. That reminds me of our big idea. God made me super duper special. Let's say that together on three. One, two, three. God made me super duper special. Yes, he did. God chose the things you would love, the things you would be good at, the things that would happen in your life, and said that all of those things made you, you. And he thinks you are special because of all of those special things. And the best part is that we can use those special things God chose for us and use them to shine our light and show his love to other people. Let's sing a song together right now, all about shining our light. This song is called Let It Shine. You guys, we're gonna start by clapping our hands. You ready? Here we go. All right, now this song is all about how we can shine our light for Jesus. You guys, Jesus loves you so much, and we can show the world how much we love him when we shine our light. Let's sing. Our light is from you, sing it out. Our light is from you. Together we won't hide when we're living as your gifts of light. Sing, your light is ever brighter. Your light is ever brighter. Jesus, shine through us so we can forever shine on everyone around us. Sing, shine your light, put your hand up. You guys, sing out, you are our savior. You are our savior, who rescued us from the darkness that was our sin. Our light is from you. Our light is from you. Together we won't hide when we're living as it gets of light. Your light is ever brighter, sing it out. Your light is ever brighter, Jesus, shine through us so we can forever shine. Shine your light, here we go. Shine your light, light, light. Make it bright, bright, bright. For all the world to see. You are the light in me. Don't let it hide, hide, hide. Let it shine, shine, shine. For all the world to see. You are the light in me. Gonna stand out like a city on a hill. Where all can see that Jesus, you are the light in me. All right, we're gonna sing that out again. Let me hear ya. Let's go. We're gonna stand out like a city on a hill. Where all can see that Jesus, you are the light in me. All right, sing out, shine your light really loud. singing that song. Good job singing and dancing, everyone. That song reminds us that we can shine our bright light for Jesus. That means we can use the special things God chose for us, like the things we are good at or the things we love, to show other people we love them and Jesus loves them too. 
When God made me, He decided that I would love singing and dancing. So I love to sing songs about Jesus and dance for Him. That shows other people how much I love Him. Now, I want to show you something very special. Do you know what this is? That's right! This is a Bible, God's special book for us. Today we are going to hear a story from the Bible all about a man named Paul that God made to be super duper special too. So let's put on our thinking caps and our listening ears and hear our story. Stories of the Bible, Paul. This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. and he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way, and as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again, and with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt, and he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters, but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. That was a great story. God made Paul and chose some special things Paul would be good at, like teaching and writing. Because Paul loved Jesus, he used those special things to teach others and write them letters so that they would know about Jesus. And we can use the special things we are good at to tell other people about Jesus too. Hmm, let's think about some special things God made about you. What makes you happy? What things do you love? What do you like to play? What people are in your family and who do you love? God made all those special things about you. And I also love to color. Do you? Let's draw a picture of Paul right now to remember our Bible story and that God made us super duper special. So grab some paper and some crayons or markers and let's color together. Hey friends, it's Gus. Are you ready to draw? Today we're drawing Paul. Let's start by drawing a rectangle with the top open. Okay, on this side of the paper, draw a long line down like this and across the bottom and up. Woohoo! Great lines! 
Next, we'll do his nose by drawing an L in the middle here. And then back at the top, make a little tiny line coming down about halfway. I'll go to the end of that line we just made and connect it to this line to finish his nose. Now to make his eyes. Draw two big circles on each side of his nose with two smaller circles inside. And then color in the small circles. All right, let's draw his beard. We need to draw a line across his face, but careful. We don't want it to go through his nose, so draw two small lines on either side like this and put an extra little line right there. Oh, don't forget his smile. Perfect. Go right up here to the middle of this line to make a little C for his ear. And for his two eyebrows, do a little line here and a little line there. You got it. Okay, now we need to do his hair. Let's start by making two dots. Put one dot here above his eyebrow and another dot about a finger away up and to the left. Now make some curved lines around this way to make, uh, well, a big squished heart. <laughs> Have it end at the other point we made. Now go to the side of his face right about here and do another heart shape on the side like this. Now go right about here and make a straight line across. Good. Now look here. We're gonna make some more poofs for his hair that go from here to here. Okay, you can do it. One poof, two poofs, three poofs. Nice poofs. <laughs> go inside his poof here and we're gonna make two U shapes up to here. Wow, that looks great. We drew Paul! Thanks for drawing with me! Bye! Great job coloring! God made Paul special, and God made you special. He made every part of you special so that you can tell other people about God in a special way that only you can do. Maybe you can even share your picture of Paul with someone to tell them that God loves them and made them super special too. That reminds me of a special verse in the Bible that reminds me of what happens when God's power is working in me. But wait, it's all covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so we can see our Bible verse? Grab some bubbles if you have them and pop them with me. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. Bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble. Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles. Bubble popping party people, let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them out of sight. bubbles everyone and look what you did we can see our bible verse now let's read it together with god's power working in us god can do much much more than anything we can ask or imagine ephesians 3:20. wow god has the power to choose the special things that make us who we are he is the one who makes us super duper special and because we have his power working in us we can use those special things to share His love. That's much, much more than we could ever do on our own. Let's sing this Bible verse song together to remind us of God's power that makes us super duper special. Come sing with me. Let's all jump together. This song is Ephesians 3.20. It says, with God's power working in us, God can do much, much more than anything we ask or imagine. Let's sing it.
Great job singing, everyone. God is the one who makes us super duper special. His dream is for everyone to know they are made and loved by Him and that He thinks they are special too. We can use the things God made us good at to tell other people He loves them. And with God's power working in us, He will help us do much more than we could ever imagine or dream. I know someone else who has super duper dreams, my friend Bestos. It's time to watch Bestos's super duper dreams. I can't wait to see what he'll dream up today. Let's watch. I can, I can see that. Man, that is a super special room. It is. And I have a super duper dream for you today. And you know, Bestos, I love to help with that. Yay! So I want you to find an elephant and a giraffe to drive go-karts round and round and round and round. <laughs> okay, well, well, giraffes and elephants can't drive, but... You know what, I think I have an idea because that sounds like a super special, super duper dream and I wanna make it happen for you, Bestos. Thank you, I am so excited. You know what, Bestos, I love how you're coming up with all these super duper ideas and that you put so many super duper things in your room. It's cool to see you being you, Bestos. You are super special. Okay, thank you, Mr. Matt. I think you are special too. Oh, thanks, man. God made each and every one of us different and special in our own way. He did? How did he do that? Well, he made us all with a different and special heart. That means God made me to really love some things and you to love other things. Like how I really love to dream up super duper things? Yes, and God made us each good at different things. Friends, you might be really good at playing soccer, uh, drawing pictures, dancing, or helping. I know you are really good at juggling squishy pigs, Mr. Matt. Uh, thanks, Bestos. I, I, I try. Um, God also made each of us different. Some of us are quiet or happy, and some of us are silly or shy. You know, God loves the way he made us. I like how all my friends in Scuppeton are different. I think that is what makes us special. Me too, Bestos. And God gives each of us a special story that's different than everyone else's. The story about me and Jesus is special to me. The people I have in my family and the things we do together are special to me. 
The happy memories and even the sad memories are special to me too. Wow! I didn't know there were so many ways that God made us special. Yes, and God made every part of you special so that you can tell other people about him in a special way that only you can do. God's dream is for everyone to know they are made and loved by him. That is a super duper dream. I love that God made me and you super duper special. Yes, and that's our big idea today. God made me and you super duper special. Now. Let's make your super duper dream happen, Bestos. Yay! Let's do this, elephant giraffes! Oh, <laughs> you found an elephant and a giraffe! No, Bestos, it's me. <laughs> you are in the elephant's mouth. No, it's a costume. It's me, Macho. And I'm here with my friend Dawson. Hey, Bestos. You are a giraffe. No, I'm not a giraffe. I'm actually just in the costume. But we're excited to make your super duper dream come true. Yes! I'm adding one more super duper thing. Whoever wins gets a super duper ice cream sundae served to you by the baby shark. No Whoa. way! Come on! That's fantastic. Hey, well then let's go. It's go kart time. Come on! Woo! Alrighty, set, and go! Dawson, that was amazing. So awesome. You're awesome, man. Wow, Dawson, you're really good at go-karts. Thanks so much, I've done it a few times. It's super fun. You know, I think that's what makes you so special. Yes, that means you get the ice cream sundae dumped on you. Wait, I thought I got to eat it. Giraffes, don't eat the ice cream chilies. But I'm not a giraffe, I'm in a costume. Oh, oh, my. oh no. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, I'm still gonna eat this ice cream. Matt, you want some? Yeah, of course I do. Mmm. Remember kids, the big idea for today is God made you super duper special. This is still pretty good. Mm -hmm. See you Ralph. Wasn't that super duper fun? That was super duper fun. Thanks for watching my super duper dream shows. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. He means like and subscribe. We love you from Room Cars. He means we love you friends. See ya. Bye. Bye. That was so cool. God made Besto so special, and he gave him all these ideas for his super duper dreams. All the things Bestos loves and the special brain he has are because of God, and God made you super duper special too. So let's pray together right now. Put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me and making me super duper special. Please help me tell other people about Jesus in the special way that only I can do. We love you, amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. I had a great time with you. Remember to have a grown up help you go to saddlebackkids.com for some fun crafts and activities. And we would love to see you in person too. So check out our campus locations and come visit us. Now let's say our big idea one more time. God made me super duper special. Ready? One, two, three. God made me super duper special. Great job. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.